All right, Quad Star Tuning here today. We've been getting a lot of questions about how to install our new multi-position tuner. Um, this is uh, the chip here that we're our end goal is to get inside um, this PCM. So to start off, I'll be taking the computer out of the truck. Everything's still together. Um, you take your T15 Torx. Take out the end cap bolts. There's four of them. Four. Um, remove your EEPROM cover here, set it off to the side, so we'll reuse that later. You also have three torque screws that actually hold the board to the housing. Um, once you take that out, everything's freed up. Um, we can gingerly remove the, the clips, we'll also reuse those later on. And so now we're ready to pull the board from the housing. And to do that, um, there's two halves that sandwich together. So it's laid on the bench with the access door facing up. Um, just pull out and take the board with you because it's still attached to the housing. So just kind of wiggle it out of there gently. And there we go. So let me set this half off and take your torx driver, switch to quarter inch, and just back out these two screws here that hold the board to the housing. Uh, the reason we're doing this is so that we can drill through the housing for the cable that actually operates the multi-position tuner which we'll show you here in a minute. Um, to get the board out of here we actually have to lift it up a little bit so just grab always always hold it by the plastic here uh, not by the board itself just tilt it up pull it out and you're good to go. Um, here we can see the factory EEPROM, which is what we'll be replacing. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Now that we have our two halves separated, um, you just want to get an idea of how they're going to go back together, because we have to drill through both sides of it. So what we want to do is reassemble, um, just line up the, the notched parts of the housing here, and put it back together the way it would be in the truck. So see they one fits inside the other, so we can just um, once we get the orientation right here, it'll go back together. So what we have now is the actual aluminum housing. The board is off to the side because we definitely don't want that in there while we're making metal shavings. Um, we'll orient the housing. Um, this is where your connectors would normally be. So facing towards you. You also have the two clips that go into the dashboard. So the way this actually goes into the truck would be from your point of view, um, if the firewall was here, the computer would actually be in the truck like this with the two black clips facing towards the engine. So the reason that that's important is so that we can mark right here to actually install our ribbon cable and grommet. So this will actually end up going on here to protect the cable. Um, what we're trying to do is orient the hole towards the bottom of the housing because the board actually sits in the housing like this. So if you notice we can't drill it we can't drill up here because we'll actually hit the board so we want to drill down here and we'll look at that again. So the board goes in like this with the connectors coming out this side. So once we mark this hole here to the left of this clip, we can take our step bit and the size we're going to drill is three quarters. So the step bit really helps because we're going through two layers here. So you can orient the hole upwards enough that we can drill it to three quarters and fit the grommet, but we want to stay away from probably this about half inch on top here. So now we just need to grab our drill. I'm going to start with a smaller step bit first just to drill a pilot hole. So we take our grommet here, lay it on the housing. Your, when, you, when you get your cable, your grommet will actually already be installed just to make it a little bit easier for you. But for the purpose of this video, um, we actually have it separated. So we'll just mark this out here, give us an idea. It doesn't have to be exact. Just remember, we're just trying to stay away from the board when we reinstall this. Let's go ahead and get started. Just make sure 
um, your new chip and your board are out of the vicinity because we don't want any metal shavings uh, coming in contact with those. Now the smaller step bit helps here because again we're going through two layers so we want to get a nice clean start. Something that will really help us at this point is we'll take two of our torque screws I don't know if you can see this in the video, but when you put the housings together without the board in, we get a little bit of a misalignment. So, take our Torx bit, and we just want to loosely put these two screws back in on this end. Now you might have to pull the housing apart a little bit to get it exact. But this will ensure that our grommet goes in smoothly later on because we'll have the same housing alignment. <coughs> Just put those in loosely. Uh, get your larger step fit. Again, one that will go to three quarters. And we're just going to finish drilling this hole. Now at this stage what we'll have to do, we have a lot of metal in this case that so we'll have to get out. But um, you want to make sure you deburr this hole well. Uh, we can see how everything's aligned. We went through both layers here. Um, but we'll have to disassemble this and clean it all out. All right, so now we've deburred our hole. Um, we had both of these apart, cleaned the whole housing out with compressed air, um, a little bit of brake clean and a rag too, just make sure you get all the shavings out of the computer. Um, you can see, nice and smooth, you can run your finger around, it's not gonna cut anything. Um, but now what we need to do is get our board back in the housing so that you can take your wire that you get with your kit and actually feed it through and put the grommet into the housing. So we're going to um, show you how we do that now. So you want to separate your housings again. Take the half that has this hole in the side of it in the door and that's where you want to start with reinserting your board. Um, if, this, if this carrier falls off, put it back in this orientation with the nub facing the bottom of the board. And what that does is tilt it in, it goes in the hole in the side, and we're reinserted. Um, we can take one of our Torx screws, put it in the top here, just temporarily. It'll hold everything together for us. So once we have that in there, it can't fall apart now. We can take our quarter inch screws, which are here. Not, this, these are not the torque screws, they're the two that are different. I'll put them back in to hold the board and the housing. Just tighten them down gently. Don't have to get too crazy to put them back together. So we don't want to crush the board against the housing. And we can switch back to our T15. And cinch this down. Now our board reinserted. Oh, we saw the stock prom in there. We'll get to next. <clears throat> but we need to put the two halves back together. So again, align the plugs with the holes that we have. This one's going to slide down inside of this half. And we everything back together. Just uh, run your torque screws to four around the edge again. Cinch those down.
two on the other side. And finish off our three on top that reinforce the board for uh, when you're inserting or moving the plugs here. These also act as a heat sink for the drivers on the board, so it's important that these screws all go back in. And finally, your two clips that retain the computer and the housing. They go opposite of the nubs. So we just cinch those back down. The serrated piece back. Now we're completed. Uh, the hard part at least. What we'll get into next here, I'm actually going to switch computers because um, the truck that we're putting this particular unit in um, already has the cable installed on the dashboard. So we don't, we don't want to install it right now because we can't get the grommet back out once we put it in. So keep that in mind um, when in the order that you're installing yours. Um, just keep in mind that the grommet will not come back out probably without breaking it. So, what we have next here we have a unit that already has the cable inserted through the hole and the grommet pushed into the housing. So it's the same style computer, um, just has the cable already in here. So what we'll do next is take our awesome multi-position tuner and orient your PCM like this one. Um, the plug goes away from this notch, so it's very important that it goes in this direction. Um, what we want to do first is insert the cable. It has a locating pin on it that goes like so. Um, it's possible to force it in the wrong way. So ensure that the locating pin is lined up in the slot. Push it together. Um, you can feed the wire back out with one hand while you slide the chip in. What we want to do is make sure you line up the pins with the new chip and just firmly push down. Don't push on the connector. Yeah, you can push on this chip with no problems. Um, just make sure it goes down firmly. Um, don't be afraid to press it in and make sure both the chip and the adapter are fully seated. Let's get a better look at it. And again, the key will come out the side. Um, you don't want to tug on this now that it's plugged in. We can actually push it in a little bit leave a little bit of slack on the inside um, so there's no not any undue stress on this connector. On the last step, you take your cover door, slide it back into place, and reinsert your screw. We don't have one sitting here right now, but um, it's just another T15 torque. Cinch it in, and we're ready to put this back in the truck, which we'll cover in our next video. Thanks for watching.